What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Happy New Year. Hope you all are healthy and happy. This is our first video of the new year and it is only fitting it is for the first beta release of the year for Apple. It's iOS 16.3 beta 2. For all of you registered developers out there, you can go pick it up right now. It's weighing in at 696 megabytes, so right around 700. Typical size until a full release. But we are not anticipating a lot of changes in this build. Hopefully a lot of the bugs were squashed from earlier versions. I was having some heat issues again on this, uh, running the first beta. Hopefully it's squashed here. I wanna go ahead and just show you guys what the build numbers are and what might've been new from the prior build as well as this one. Let's jump right into it. All right, so we just finished installing iOS 16.3 developer beta two. And as you can see, it's coming in at right under 700 megabytes like we said. Let's do our traditional song and dance to show you guys about this update. We'll go into general, about, and then iOS version, and you can see the build number. This is gonna be 20D5035I. And if you jump into the more information, you'll see there's not too much actually listed here. If you actually go into 16.2, there's two features here. I should say two callouts. Swift UI has a new feature to disable the animations of navigation stack, as well as deprecations here. That is actually all that's listed. Nothing extensive at all for such a lengthy delay for the update. I'm assuming just the holidays slowed down that process, but no big deal there. Also jumping into it, if you missed a prior video that was active in beta one, if you go into your iCloud account under passwords and security now, you have that new option for security keys. This will let you actually use a physical security key as a multi-factor authentication method. It's the strongest possible way to secure your account. It is active here. You can go to add security keys. And once you actually hit the threshold, you can add that. So this is an interesting call out. It was active present in beta one as well. What this will let you do is up until about two weeks, I believe, could be a month um, from installing this update, it will not allow you to use the security key just because it recognized it as a new device. This actually hit all the dev devs account as well from when we updated to this. So keep that in mind. You will have to wait to actually add that key, but when you can and you're eligible, you can do it right here. Aside from that, everything has been pretty smooth. The animations have been very nice as well. No issues at all with anything. So from a standpoint of that nature, it's great. I'm very curious to see what battery life is gonna be. Like I said, we did have issues with the device running hot, which obviously in turn has degraded the battery pretty significantly over what we were originally getting. But just keep that in mind. Again, so far so good for a stable beta, but let's see what happens in the near future. That's it for this one, guys. Let us know in the comments down below if you found anything else active on this that we haven't seen that was new. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.